right here. This is a nice, beautiful police facility that we have here. But realistically, this is my office. You know, so, exactly. Um, exactly. This is what matters to me. So this is what I spend 12 hours a day you know, operating out of. So. Hello, I'm Officer Gessert with the Hoffman Estates Police Department. Today uh, we'll be patrolling Area 9 in the village of Hoffman Estates, which is uh, the northernmost uh, territory of the village. It's mostly residential with a little bit of a retail space. There's uh, off of Palatine Road, there's Jewel and, uh, and a strip mall there, but uh, it's primarily residential. We'll be focused on the north part of it, uh, which is everything north of uh, I-90. As you can see, um, I have a full belt of uh, gear and a vest. Uh, the rough weight between all this gear is anywhere between 30 to 40 pounds. What we have here is uh, we each get issued a, uh, a ballistic vest. Obviously I have my badge and then I have various uh, stuff in my pockets that I need you know, for note taking and whatnot when I'm on a call and I need to gather information. Um, and then I have uh, a mini flashlight because uh, you never know, you, know, you can never have enough flashlights. Um, there's one in the squad car that I'll tend to grab. And then I also have here uh, this is a little uh, pry tool that I have and seat belt cutter because um, there's been more than one occasion where I've been the first on a scene of a, a really horrific crash and the person's trapped inside and the car's on fire and so I've had to extricate more than one person out of a car. Um, and then on my belt here I got uh, this is uh, for the microphone for the in-car camera system because we're always uh, recorded on our encounters and traffic stops and whatnot um, so both visually and audio, audio recording. Um, this is a new addition to uh, our kits. Uh, we've been issued Narcan which um, wh what that does is it counteracts a drug overdose because again uh, more times than not we're the first on the scene we arrive before the paramedics get there and if we have an unconscious unresponsive person and um, with the information that we have that it's from a drug overdose we can uh, give them a shot of this and uh, it uh, is very effective at, at uh, saving their lives and then I got a pair of handcuffs here and then I got a second pair back here because um, again redundancy you know you never know if uh, you have a multiple arrest situation or um, if the person that you're taking into custody is a, a larger person or not flexible um, sometimes you need to join two together to uh, to effectively handcuff them and then over here you know like I said spare magazines for my duty pistol which is a, uh, a Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm and then uh, I also uh, I'm also unique and not too many officers carry a spare rifle magazine um, we, we do have um, AR-15 style uh, rifles uh, in the uh, squad cars um, and then this is uh, a taser this is uh, how we can control situations without going to lethal force um, it's a step in the use of force continuum very very effective I've, I've deployed it several times um, and been able to have a happy outcome um, you know to where we were able to take a an aggressive fighting person into custody and uh, nobody got hurt and then I got my radio this is how we obviously communicate uh, and get dispatched and whatnot this is a lifeline right here good communication is key uh, then back here I got uh, my expandable baton this is another use of force thing um, to where we can uh, when we have to deploy it and and use it for various things either controlling techniques or or any kind of um, to defeat uh, an active aggressor um, when appropriate this is a good tool for that and then back here I got um, this is a uh, it's it's got a first aid symbol on it but it's it's really not a first aid kit it's a um, it's an Israeli battle dressing um, so it, if you got a gunshot wound or something like that or someone that's severely bleeding you can address that immediately and uh, attempt to stop the bleeding effectively before uh, um, 
medics can arrive on scene. So it's got the potential uh, to save somebody's life, either myself or a fellow officer, or even um, a casualty of a, uh, an incident to where I stumble across and I need to stop somebody's bleeding. I can do that effectively. All right, so enough about uh, all that stuff. Uh, we're burning daylight, so let's uh, go hit the mean streets. So now we're going to make the journey up to the north side of town. Now, uh, uh, kind of unique situation is that uh, the past 13 years I've been on midnights, so this is day three of transitioning to uh, the day shift because now I've been placed on a permanent day shift. What I like to do is uh, I'll start off my shift whatever area I am. I'll, um, I'll drive through the area, kind of see what's what. Make sure there's nothing out of place. Get a feel for what what's going on. Um, and, and right now, in particular, uh, because we're up north, and there's really only two good ways to get up north because of the uh, tollway, and that's Roselle Road or Barrington Road. Both of which really aren't good ways because they're both under construction. So I like to see what the traffic patterns are, what the best option is in case I have to jet down south to help. First I'm going to start see how the Roselle access is and then uh, a little bit later I'll come down Barrington Road and see how that is and kind of judge what uh, would be the best option had I, you know, if I have to come back down here. You know, I like having a purpose and uh, you know, it's definitely not mundane, you know, something it's different every day and there's some autonomy you know, I don't, um, I don't have a boss breathing down my neck, you know, so, or, and I'm not making widgets. Keeps things interesting. And I, I enjoy making a difference, whether it be minute to somebody or in any particular day or something major. You know, it it's, feels good to, to make a difference. I got this guy on radar doing 36 and a 25. Um, so I'm going to affect the traffic stop, but what I do is I run the plate, uh, make sure there's no uh, hits on it, meaning that the guy's not wanted or the car's stolen, because I like to gather as much information as I can ahead of time before I uh, start the stop. And then I try to pick out the safest place to make the stop, um, the best location. we got a side street coming up here. You never know what uh, somebody's going to do, so you kind of got to... Just go with the flow, and he's not going to turn down the side street, but the street's wide enough, so. Central 6139 traffic stop. Good morning, how are you doing today? Hey, yeah, oh, it's a little fast. Yeah, a little fast, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, everything okay? Yeah. Okay, all right, I just need to take a look at your license and proof sure. of insurance. Okay. Yeah, I always use this. Yeah, these yeah. things happen. Yeah. Not the end of the world. And this is valid. There's that back. Is this your current uh, address? Yeah. Do you have a good driving record? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right, tell you what, uh, just give me a minute. I'll be right back and get you on your way, okay? Okay, thank you. Yep. All right, now I'm going to run his driver's license, make sure he's not wanted or suspended or anything like that. And he is clear and he has a valid driver's license with no tickets in the past year. I could run a driving abstract if I wanted to see his whole record, but uh, I'm not going to do that in this case. And he admitted that he was speeding and apologized. He's got a good driving record, so I'm going to cut him a break today. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, you do have a good driving record, so I'm going to cut you a break today, okay? Well, just thank you very just much. be mindful of speed, especially in the residential areas, okay? Yes, yes. All right, have a good day. Take thank care. Thank you very much. Yeah. Basically, uh, every officer has discretion and, and they apply it differently, so there's no hard, fast rule as to when or when not to write a ticket and, or. Um, Effect an arrest in that matter. You, you don't have to arrest everybody either. Um, that's when 
you're the complaining witness. Obviously, if you have a crime against a person and you have a victim and, and they want the person arrested, well, then obviously make the arrest. Now, when I'm driving around, uh, you know, I'll randomly run license plates. Um, the courts say we can do that. You know, it's, it's perfectly legal. Um, and sometimes, you know, it'll tell us if, if the plates are expired and then we can make a stop based on that. Um, Sometimes you know it'll pop up that the registered owner has a, a warrant or is suspended. Uh, now, if we have no traffic violation, um, but we do have that information, uh, the courts actually rule that we can make a, a traffic stop based on that. Uh, it's called a barn stop. Um, a, a lot of people you know, don't understand that. They think that there has to be a violation of the law for us to to make a stop, which you know is is absolutely the case. Um, but in this case, we have enough reasonable suspicion to at least detain the, the, the vehicle and the persons in the vehicle until such time as we're able to determine if it is or not the person. Now I'm just running some plates of cars parked on the street, see if they belong in the neighborhood. Now, typically when um, you have a permanent beat, which I think... Uh, moving forward I'll probably be on, on area one permanently um, you know what cars belong to what residents uh, what you see in the area so a car parked on a street that isn't usual sticks out more but since uh, you know I'm still transitioning day shift and I haven't been up north on day shift yet I don't know what cars belong what don't so I'll, I'll run some plates So this is an example of just tidbits of information to tuck away. Um, he wasn't breaking any laws. He was stopped on the side of the road. He might have been texting or something or doing something. Um, he wasn't you know, blocking traffic or anything like that. Um, and then once traffic started to show up, he went on his way. So technically not breaking any laws, but standing out. So. So I got his information and tucked that away and who knows, probably nothing but you never know. Yeah, so you know, construction sites um, are another place that are frequently targeted by thieves, you know, stealing materials, raw materials at that, um, you know, like the copper pipes, you know, scrappers can get a good amount of money for the, the raw material. Uh, another five finger. <laughs> um, uh, so, and then you know some of these contractors aren't the best to, at locking up their their tools and whatnot. Like the other night or a couple weeks ago, I was driving by one of these uh, houses under construction. And I see all these ladders and toolboxes left out. I'm like, really? A couple weeks ago, a pickup truck showed up and was milling about one of the. Uh, houses under construction so a resident called it in because of the time of night and it, it definitely was suspicious but it turns out they were making a delivery of drywall so everything checked out but uh, yeah the residents you know, sometimes are our best tool and so it's better to err on the side of caution and, and give us a call so we can uh, you know determine if it's something legitimate or if it's nothing and it's no bother to us that's that's what we're here for you know we'd rather We'd rather be able to stop something ahead of time as opposed to you know deal with the aftermath of you know we'd rather prevent a residential burglary or something like that than have to you know deal with the the victim after the fact because that's that's one of the the worst crimes in terms of feeling victimized when you get your own home violated you know that's that's awful to keep everything consistent uh, you know it's 911 for everything so um, you know. It, you spend years, decades doing ad campaigns for 911 for emergencies, and then now you go back and say, "Oh, now it's 911 for everything." You know, you know it's, it's it's hard for people to to pull that trigger, so to speak. Yeah, this isn't an emergency, so I really don't feel like calling 911. And we encourage people to to call. You know. All right. What I'm doing now is I'm checking the, the cars in the park running the plates um, 
making sure that there's not a registered child sex offender hanging out at the park. Um, you know, because obviously it's summertime and there's kids in the park and it would be a attractive target for a pedophile. So, and they have to register, so all their stuff would pop up. So that's what I'm doing right now, just making sure there's no registered sex offenders hanging out here at the park. They gave me an old crap look in the uh, station. And kind of a. Contempt, contempt of cop attitude, so. And he's not from around here, from Chicago. And there's red popping up, so he's got some sort of caution going on here. Let's see what it is. Oh, an order of protection. Okay. Well, there you go. See, that's a, you got to be able to read people. That's that's one of the best skills to have doing this job. Because um, not only, obviously, we got to be able to tell as best as we can who's lying, who's telling the truth, but uh, we got to be able to anticipate if they're going to want to fight with us so we can you know, get the jump on that. You know, we got to read body language, you know, tone of voice, what they're saying, how they're saying it, all that stuff. So. Um, to be able to read people is huge. Because there's there's two types of population a town has. It's you know resident population and then the daytime population, which means you know, the population that it has with uh, all the businesses, you know, employees, people working, which usually is uh, quite a bit larger than the the regular population. Especially if you got big corporate offices like uh, Hoffman Estates does had a trainee that described it best, you know, stop sign violations are interesting. Um, it's the one thing that people will argue the most because, you know, oh, I stopped, oh, I stopped, you know. He testified in court, it, it, it was classic, I'll never forget. If I can count the spokes on the wheel, I give them credit for the stop. If I can't, then they rolled it too much and, uh, and then I stop them and write the ticket. And I thought, oh, that's, that's a good way to kind of kind of gauge it. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? Yeah, the reason why I stopped you is you rolled right through that stop yeah. sign. <laughs> These things happen. Where are you headed to? Work You work at Jimmy John's? Or? Oh, outstanding. Getting ready for the uh, busy lunch lunchtime uh, crew? Okay. Our yeah, the insurance. I don't need to see the registration. Insurance oh. is what I need to see. Okay, that's valid. You currently live on. And do you have a good driving record? Um, decent. Decent? Okay. Um, you going to school now, too? Oh, uh, yes. Where are you go to school at? Oh, very good. All right, hang tight for one minute. I'll be right back with you. Get you on your way, okay? All right, thank you. Yep. I just got done telling you that everybody argues that they stopped. This kid says, yeah, I rolled right through it. I'm sorry. I haven't had that happen in years. He did say he has a iffy driving record, so let's find out. Now I'm curious. He's got nothing on his background. Huh. Go figure. Oh, well. Let him get back to work delivering Jimmy John's. All right, I'm going to cut you a break today. Right, please drive safe, okay? All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing? Your registration's expired. Are you aware of that? End of February it expired. Yeah. Yes, it is. The state's not sending out any notices, so you're not alone. A lot of people uh, don't realize it, so. Yeah. Okay, I just no need idea. to take a look at your license and proof of insurance. Okay, there's that. But is this current address on Park Ridge? Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, um, because the state isn't sending out notices, um, we've been very lenient not issuing tickets. So I just got to record your information. I'm not going to okay. give you any ticket, but just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Can I get it? Um, you can go to uh, 
Secretary of State's office or a currency exchange. Yeah. Even some banks are now offering the service. So um, just be mindful that uh, because it's more than 30 days past due, they charge an extra $20. So just be ready for that. Okay. All right. All right just hang tight for a minute. I'll be right back at you anyway. Okay. Uh, it's okay. At least I'm glad that you're there, not on the road. So. Kill two birds with one stone right here. Yeah. Yeah, she had no clue that her plates have been expired. Because the state's not sending out notices, so. Okay, you're all set. Have a good day. You're welcome. Now, on something like this, um, I mean, depending on what the issue is, if he's like mechanically uh, broken down, which it looks like he's moving now. Okay. I think I blew something. Okay. Uh, so I'm probably going to need a tow truck. I don't think I'm going to take the chance of getting this thing home. Okay. Uh, where are you uh, headed to? Well, I'm headed out to Elgin, but hang on, listen to this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why. I was on the highway, actually, when it, when it happened. So let me see if I can pull the... Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything we can do about it. You know, I got from, I got from 53 until here, and then it, but when it dies, it doesn't start again for like five or 10 yeah. minutes, and then I'm on the side of the road, so. Yeah, with that knock, it sounds like a compression issue of some sort. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, or like a rod blue or something. So, it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, there's no anything. fluids or anything. It just dies, and it's just. Seems to be halfway decent. Man, I don't know if I should make a run for it or not, huh? That'd be a shame if that motor goes because it doesn't have any oil. Yeah. Oh, the one on the median? Yeah. I had a blown tire. You know, those guys always use retreads, so you never know when they're going to give out. And he had one of his drive tires completely split open, so can't go anywhere, so he's got to wait for a wrecker to come deal with that. And the last guy called in for assistance because of car problems, was it? Yeah, his uh, engine completely died after being on the highway and uh, didn't know what the issue was, but after it sat for a little bit, it fired back up, but clearly he's got an engine issue of some sort most likely due to lack of motor oil which nowadays I, I almost wonder you know the cars are so computerized it, it might have actually gone into a safety mode and, and shut down to prevent the motor from seizing which wouldn't surprise me but yeah that thing was bone dry Made it fire alarm. 1931 Prairie Square Shelburne, near Prairie Wendland. That's okay. They, we've done it without the pump, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's been done. Oh. I've yeah, it it's nice and... <laughs> I've seen it happen. I do it all three. It's, it's already been broken in. I can tell that. There's a lot of give there. So who's getting married? My brother is getting married. Oh, very good. Perfect. Almost, almost, almost. There, you got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, I really appreciate it. You're certainly welcome. Yeah, this is actually pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Um, they're not, generally speaking, they're not usually that easy, but especially when you don't have all the tools. But because hers has been broken into several times, uh, the door had a lot of give 
so I didn't need the uh, the pump to try to create space so super easy um, on that particular one uh, with that kind of light locking mechanism you need to use the setup that I had um, on older model ones or ones with the uh, locks like this in the door um, you can use a Slim Jim and there's kind of an art form to that to where um, you kind of got to feel around where the the wires are and, and uh, catch on the right one and, and it's just it's kind of a technique that you acquire and each car is differently and set up differently but you kind of learn each one's nuances and each manufacturer and, and you get quicker and quicker so piece of cake <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop but I saw you at the last minute yeah, well, people catch on. I can get away with this. Central 6139 traffic stop. Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, Why the reason you stop me? Because you uh, rolled right through that stop sign making the right turn. No, you slowed down but you didn't stop. So, um, Do you have the insurance for the vehicle? There we go. Is that back? I see it's valid. Is this current address in Wisconsin or are you living no, somewhere? I live here in Elgin. In Elgin? Okay. Yeah, I haven't been able to, I haven't passed the test. You haven't passed the test? No. What are you doing on my roads then? <laughs> Alright, do you have a good driving record? Yeah, I just, you know, my brain works. Okay. Alright, hang tight for a minute over here, but I can get you anyway, okay? But if her Wisconsin license is valid, at worst it's a petty offense for not uh, getting a new license. She's established residency here, so. See? Just when you think you hear it all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut you a huge break today. Um, just keep working on getting that license. Oh, no, it's embarrassing. And stop for all stop signs. Yes, I will. Thank you. All right, take Thanks. care. You're kind of stuck here in all this traffic, so even if you were to put on your lights, there's nowhere for anybody to go, so. So where are we going now? We're going to 1580 West Algonquin Road, Strip Mall. For? Uh, well, they call it out as a theft, but it, it sounds more like a robbery. But uh, we don't have much information right off the bat, so hopefully the other officer will get there and gather some more information and be able to relay it to us. Like uh, offender description, direction of travel, stuff like that. Yeah, do you have any suspect info yet? Yeah, real quick. The guy must have walked by me when uh, I was passing the male black. He got real tight, hair cut, and carrying an umbrella. Okay. Yeah, I saw him earlier over uh, by Forest View Plaza. He's real skinny build. That's the guy. You remember that guy that we saw walking over here? Mm -hmm. That's the description that they're getting. So I'm going to go back this way because he's coming from this direction here. Hey, Craig, I think I got your guy. Coming up to Forest View Plaza on Huntington. I'll be there in a second. I'm kind of trapped behind uh, the truck. Uh, yeah, come on over here, please. Sorry. Yeah, put your stuff up here. Sorry. Okay. Where are you coming from right now? Right now? Yeah. From the church. 
The church? Yes, okay. sir. Can you put your cigarette down? Okay, yes, we just had an incident happen, so. Oh, and okay. you, you match a description, okay? What so. kind of incident? Uh, we'll get to that. Do you have any weapons on you or oh, anything yeah, like that? Yeah, I do. I have a box cutter right here. Box cutter? Yes, okay, sir. so that's it. That's I'm, it. I'm going to hold on to this right now. Okay. What are you uh, doing out here? I do door to door sales, sir. Door to door sales? What are you, uh, what are you selling? Books and magazines. Books and magazines. Yeah, I'm on my way back to Arlington Heights because that's what we have a permit for. Okay, you don't have a permit for out here? No, sir. All right. That's why I'm not selling out here. Beautiful. All right, you got a Red Bull. Where'd you get that at? Gas station. The one right over here? Right, here, right there. Okay, you got any identification on yes, you? Is right it there in that pocket? In that pocket? Okay. Yeah, Jim, I'm going to do a show up with him. I'm not going nowhere, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. What was I supposed to do? Well, I'm not the one handling the call, so I'll. Uh... Huh? He got he got this at the mobile here. Yeah, why are you, why are you not cuffing this guy right now? Why am I not cuffed? Because you're under arrest. For what? Huh? What did I do? I just bought a squirrely man. You know that. He's gonna take off on you. No, I wasn't. I didn't well, I you, just tell you that, sir. I wasn't. We're gonna do a, a show up now. Okay. Well, I was, waiting, I was detaining him until you thanks, came. Thanks, to, say, I appreciate it. Yeah. You got him. Yeah, well. Yes, you're, 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 you're grab. <laughs> what, yeah, you're, what I'll do is um, throw him in the back of yours. Okay, I got the <laughs> single cage, so. Um, just because we're going to do a show up. Let me go back over there. Okay. And then uh, I got a witness, so. Got a witness, too? Yep. Okay. Do you have any money on him? Yep, Martin. You guys want another car? He's calling for us. I don't know. Oh, that's my phone. That's your he, phone. Where's he, your money at? Right there. Diego, let's No, we're good. No, we're good. Yeah. Just, no. just the five dollars. No. You got more than that. A little bit more than that. Probably no. like fifteen dollars and the twenty dollars. Fifteen, twenty dollars. Even that. Right. Oh no, it is just a five. It, oh, just okay, a two five. five. Okay, two five. Okay. Forgot about my Red Bull. You bought your Red Bull. Okay. Yeah. There's a lighter in here too. Oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, only one thousand. Oh yeah, ten dollars left. Do you smoke or what, why, why you got all these lighters? Yeah, I smoke. I smoke okay. Too. Just want to see right I haven't found it. Where are they at? In the, oh, on the spot. Okay, I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh. Hello, <laughs> Keith. Anything in here? That's all work. That's all. That's all work stuff. So. You know what? Uh, you want to work on? I'm gonna run them real quick. I had to get back. Central 6139, a file CQH. <laughs> the witness said it's you. Then that's you. All right. We're gonna go verify if uh, they identify you as the person and go from there. If it's not you, it's not you, but. 6136 ambulance call. We'll yeah. find out here momentarily. Very good. I didn't do anything with that. Well, that was a witness I told you that I was gonna hang it. So I just walked sure. past that guy. Here, I'll, I'll do it. Good eyes. This guy nabbed him. <laughs> no, but how did you know? I mean, well, this is what happened. Because when I came here, I just told my partner, I was, I was at the mobile, and he just walked that way. And he looked at me once, and then he was walking, and usually he won't, they won't pay attention Maybe to me. Then he kind of, of, of glanced back at me a second, third time. Like, this thing, so well, and, and prior to him doing that, I saw him walking from, from, from the neighborhood. He got out of here quick, so, so if he ran, I mean, I didn't see him running. He Outside walked out of the store, that's why I didn't think anything of it. So he must have either run around the corner there and then took off, because how did he get down there? He did. And that's why when I saw you, and you told me that, I'm like, ah, I know exactly where he's at. And once he told me, I knew exactly who he was talking about, because I had just seen him, and I knew where he came from, so I went where he came from. Can we give the good news to Dr. Tom's assistant? Yeah, so is this going to be a, a theft or a robbery? What, what's... Uh, I think you took money out of a wallet. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. If it was sitting, if it was sitting in a purse, 
last counter, she was back in graduate. Yeah. She wasn't attending. Right, her. right. So I mean, she would be a theft. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't, I didn't get any of the story, so. All right. All right, let me just tell you what's going on, and you, uh, let me explain to you your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the uh, right to have an attorney present before any questioning, and if uh, you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand those rights? Okay. Well, I'm yes, sir. But what about have stolen? Well, we'll get into that at the station, but you do understand your rights, correct? Central 6139 en route to the station with one in custody. That dude right there, he just saw me walking out the door. That's it, that's all. Okay. Holy shit, so I'm gonna go to jail with somebody to do. I don't even got no damn money. What, I took five dollars? Odds are you'll be able to bond out from our jail. I mean, that's what I'm saying, so like a So I'm being charged with death. That's what it's looking like. I mean, you'll know for sure, you know, once... <laughs> Which is a misdemeanor offense, so it's it's something that you could bond out with if that's what you're getting charged with. So, if that's what you... I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm going off the information that I'm given, so... Well, if it's, if it's the straight misdemeanor theft, um, it's $150. And you know, will I be able to get the numbers out? We'll lie to make phone calls and whatnot. Okay. Will I be able to get the numbers out of my phone? Yes. You have to be arrested for something I don't know nothing about. I'm like, man, I'll be in charge. And then when you said it, then when the guy came up, I was like, well, put your hands down. You being arrested? I'm like, huh? And they're like, you got any money on you? Yeah. I got like, I thought I had ten dollars left. That's why I turned back around. I said, okay, I'm gonna go back to Subway then. Give me something to eat. I'm gonna have to work. Get yourself a five dollar foot long? Yeah. <laughs> that's all the money I got. I mean I got company money, but that's not my money, that's the customer's money, so Yeah. Can't touch that. Straight over this way. So uh, we have a subject in custody for a theft that occurred at a business um, based on eyewitness statements uh, identifying him as the uh, suspect uh, that gives us probable cause to arrest him and charge him. Um, you know, the victim's willing to sign complaints for the offense. Um, we're, we're gonna, we've already Mirandized him, but we're going to uh, Mirandize him again. And if he wants to provide a statement, he can go ahead and do that. He's already admitted that uh, he was at the scene. Um, but he, at this point, he's denying uh, taking any money. So uh, we'll just, uh, at this point, uh, we'll gather all our witness statements and, uh, and then we'll... Is that what the other officer is doing right yeah, now? Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. He's getting everybody's information, everybody's statements. Um, and then uh, we're going to get the witness down here, or the uh, victim, I should say, and uh, sign the complaint for the offense, uh, which will be the official charging document. Um, and once we have that, we'll process him for that crime. and. Uh, uh, he'll, if it's the uh, misdemeanor theft, because it's under $150, um, he'll be able to uh, have the opportunity to post a $150 bond and be released on bond, depending on uh, his court date. Uh, if he cannot post $150, then he'll be lodged um, to be uh, transported to a bond hearing sometime tomorrow. So that's where we stand right now. And the bond hearing would be where? Uh, for the weekend, the weekend bond hearing is down in, uh, down in Maybrook. So, not Rolling Meadows, you'd have to go down to Maybrook and then uh, from there down to 26th in California, which uh, I anticipate he's already worried about that, which is why he's asking all kinds of questions about his bond. So, uh, it's not his first time around the block. He's, he's got an extensive background and for similar offenses. So, uh, he, he's no newbie to this game. So, 
but nor am I. So um, it's like a chess match. So, but um, we're going to win this one. Uh, my name is Officer Parks, and uh, tonight we're going to be uh, working patrol in the north part of Hoffman, what I call our Beat Nine. Uh, Friday night, so hopefully we get uh, get some action, look for some DUIs and stuff up north. So I've been on the force now for almost two years, so I'm still kind of new, but it's exciting. So tonight we're likely to see maybe some um, a lot of speeding traffic up north, and then Friday night, so hopefully. We'll look for some DUIs. That's uh, what I like to focus on a lot. I think uh, drunk driving is a very dangerous thing. Uh, it's important to make sure we get them off the streets before anything bad happens. Just patrol our side streets, look for any like burglars or any specific, suspicious activity going on up north in our residential areas. I like to patrol the side streets. Gray uh, crossover right in front of us here. Central from 6139A Adam, traffic stop. So like to tell my location and what car I'm stopping before I even activate my lights. That way, for some reason, they decide to take off and try to run from me. They have all that information. I don't have to worry about trying to drive fast, get the information, talk on the radio. They already have all that, so I can just tell my direction and everything. Hi there, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, you're going a little fast back there. Um, if I was, I apologize. I'm trying to get to my daughter's last baseball game. Okay. And I just left work. All right. Do you have a driver's license and insurance? Yes. All right. Uh, do you have your insurance card? Yes, sir. Mm. I need to find it. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you that back. Uh, um, he's a military veteran. I like to do, you know, cut our veterans who serve for the, their country some slack, so... Just run his license, make sure everything is okay. He's not suspended or anything. He's got no warrants, so I'll uh, probably just give him a verbal warning here. Just with each stop that we make, we fill out what we call a uh, traffic data stop sheet. So we just fill out some basic information, name, where they live, and reason for our stops. And got to fill it out for every traffic stop that you make and turn it in at the end of the day. So right now I'm just going to do that and fill out on my sheet that I gave him a warning. All right, I'm gonna give you a warning, all right? Just make sure you watch your speed, okay? Appreciate that very much. All right, thank you for your service. All thank right, you, have a good one. Central 6139A Adam traffic stop. Hi there, how you doing? Hi. Hi. Is why I stopped you going a little too fast back there. Your muffler is too loud too. Uh, Alright, do you have a driver's license and insurance? Yeah. Is that back? Alright, use your insurance card back. Just uh, sit tight, I'll be right back, okay? okay. Alright, so his license is valid. Then I like to usually check to see if uh, they've ever been arrested before. He's Looks like he's never been arrested, so. Alright. Alright, let's see where I'm at. Uh, speeding ticket. Alright, Manuel. I'm gonna, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a break on the speeding ticket, okay? Yeah. Alright, but I'm gonna give you a ticket for your muffler, okay? Can't have any changes or any modifications to it to make it the loud or the noise excessive, okay? okay? So, this is a village ordinance ticket. It doesn't go on your driving record or anything like that, okay? This is basically like a parking ticket, okay? Oh, okay. So, it, do it doesn't affect your license. Okay. All right? So where are you going to pay? On the Secretary of State or? Yeah, you pay the Hoffman Estates, okay? So, you can either pay it in person at the Hoffman Estates Village Hall, you can mail it in this envelope, self addressed, oh, okay. or you can pay it online at hoffmanestates.org, okay? There's three ways, they're right here in this top right corner. Okay. If you want to contest the ticket, or if you get your muffler fixed before August 1st, you can come to the Hoffman Estates Police Department. Address is right down here. You can contest the ticket or show that you got the muffler fixed and that it's no longer in violation. Okay? If you fix it, you can you don't have to pay it. If you just gotta you gotta come in and prove that you got it fixed. Okay? Do you have any questions on this? No, Okay. Here's your ticket and here's your driver's license. Alright, make sure you slow it down, okay? Alright, drive safe. is 
39 copies all being routes Central and Huntington. So we got a call for a uh, child custody dispute. Uh, I guess they're supposed to exchange the child uh, at 7 o'clock, but the mother seems to be refusing to uh, let the father take the child. So we'll go over there and uh, see if we can't work this out civilly. Here is Rapola. Here is the, is the uh, black equinox here. So go up and we'll talk to him. So I just got finished the uh, child custody dispute. Uh, the son was hesitant to go with dad. He, uh, you know, enjoys spending a little more time with mom than he does dad. He just got back from a trip with dad and didn't feel like gonna go seeing him. But unfortunately, the way their uh, child custody agreement is written up, it's his uh, father's weekend. So talk to the kid and the father, and mom, and uh, the son was willing to go with dad uh, as long as he make sure he can call mom and talk to mom at any time during the day so dad agreed to that and uh hopefully we want to be back with for these ones and you know child custody disputes are always tough you know on the kids and the whole family dynamic 39 copies in route then yeah, we got a call about a stray dog uh let's see doesn't look like it has any collars or anything roaming around looks like somebody was able to grab it so we're gonna go over there and uh, see if we can't find the owner of the dog. There's another one. He's been with. Mm -hmm. it looks, it's, they're both beautiful okay. little dogs. The oh. other one's black, and it was probably a couple hours ago <laughs> that I saw him. Well, okay. what I find bizarre is that he has no tags. Yeah, he's got is a that, collar with no tags. Is it? Do you hear of that ever? Yeah, unfortunately, a little too frequently. I don't people know. People do it on purpose? Not on purpose, oh. but for some reason they'll take it off or something, and it, oh, it okay. happens. More often than you think, unfortunately. I don't know why nobody... Oh, yeah. You're too small. I got gotcha. you. There you go. Play around. Yeah, we got nothing in our logbook at the police department for anything missing, but if it went missing today, they might still be looking for it today, so they don't want to call. Like you, maybe didn't want to call 911 right away, so... I call instantly, but it was just me. Yeah, maybe they're not home. I don't know, but... I don't know. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. You I see anybody looking, we're going to take it to Golf Rose Animal Hospital. Oh, All right, so if somebody's, you happen to see somebody looking for their dog, you can let them know that uh, that's where I'll be. I know. So we were unable to uh, locate any owners in the area. We've been, neighbors in the area have been checking as well and uh, checked with our front desk, see if anybody's reported a small brown chihuahua missing. Nobody's reported anything. So right now we're just going to take it to Golf Rose Animal Hospital. They'll shelter it and they'll uh, hold on to it there until an owner and uh, go ahead and claim it. So we'll head there, uh, file some paperwork, and make sure we let our front desk know that uh, so if anybody's looking for a brown chihuahua, that's where it's at. Buddy, I'm gonna have you wait over here. Full up in the back, friendo. Come on. So I just gotta do a quick form for the uh, hospital. Uh, for the animal hospital. Just gonna brief synopsis of uh, what happened in that police report number. So yeah, we uh, dropped the dog off at Golf Rose Animal Hospital. Luckily, it, was, it had a chip in it, so. They're, they'll be able to contact the owner and uh, have them come pick up the dog. So uh, we'll still go ahead and uh, enter it in our animal book just in case they can't make any contact with the owners. But uh, hopefully it should be reunited with its owner. Central 6139 traffic stop. Come on, there All right, so we stopped this car because it made a illegal left turn while uh, the left turn arrow was red. So we'll go uh, talk to him and find out why. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Right. You know why I stopped you? No. Because you made a left turn while the left turn arrow was red. 
Right back there? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking. I'm Why not? sorry. Why aren't you thinking? I just got a new job. Oh, I was, yeah? I was, uh... Oh, yeah? Where are you working at now? Well, well it, it doesn't matter. I got a new job. I was excited. I was thinking about it. You know? Okay. Sorry. All right. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I've lived here my whole life. I haven't even... Well, so then, you know there's a left, ter left turn around there. Uh, actually, no. No? Uh, did you say, uh, they probably stuck it up. I, I, I wasn't even thinking. I'm sorry. All right. Do you have a driver's license and insurance? Sure. So where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? Portillo's. Portillo's? Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, I was eating an uh, onion ring, too. In fact, I got some... Uh, yeah, you got to be careful. You could have turned into traffic if you weren't paying attention. I, 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 hey, I apologize. I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. Hey, sorry you? about that. Well, I, I, well, I just got offered this job, and I was so happy. Well, good, I just exciting. called my wife, and I said I'll pick up Portillo's. Okay. All right, just uh, hang tight. I'll be right back, all right, okay? All right, thanks. Hmm? All right. Mm, well, this is the reason why he uh, went through the red arrow was because he uh, wasn't paying attention, didn't realize it was a red arrow, which isn't a very good excuse. I feel like you should be paying attention when you're <coughs> driving. So, uh, run his driving abstract, see if uh, he's got any tickets before, but I think we'll probably write him a ticket. I mean, it's how people get in accidents when they stop paying attention. So what we call our Y citations. There are uh, state issued tickets. We have our village ordinance tickets, which I wrote earlier. These are just uh, basically like parking tickets. You can write them for certain violations. Um, but write them a state ticket, and then this will go on his driving record unless he can get supervision and get it off. All right, so I'm going to be issuing a citation for disobeying the traffic. All right. It was a clear, honest mistake. I mean, there, I, I, I honestly, I don't go that route. I, I apologize. And I, I don't deny that, but the fact that you weren't, you said you weren't paying attention, that's that's how accidents get caused, okay? When you stop paying attention, that's when the accident happens, you all right? What? Chuck, that happened the other day, and where was the person that hit my freaking car yesterday? You know, right there. Yeah. Right there. Just I'm, happened. So I go out. Central 6139, Sorry, everything's 10-4. Mm -hmm. I go out to buy this to unplug the thing before I call it in. How come uh, accidents, mm -hmm. at least if I hit somebody, which I've never done, you know, I would at least leave a note or something. Yeah, that, that pissed me off. Look. I, and I, 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 don't, I don't blame you for that. And you're going to, I grew up here. I know, mm -hmm. hey, I, I took a left, there was nobody coming. And I wasn't even thinking, and I apologized, and that won't happen, but I, I, I don't know. Do what you got to do. Okay. Do what All you right. got to do. Right. I apologize. You know, but All right. New All job right. comes a new ticket, I guess, okay. right? All right. So, you can get these citations, three ways you can handle, okay? Yeah, Option A, mail it in. plead guilty, pay the fine, it goes on your record. Option B, you can request traffic school. If you get traffic school, you can just get supervision. And if you have a clean record, then you know, you can get it not on your record, all right? Beautiful. Option C, request a court date, plead gu guilty or not guilty there, okay? Do you have any questions on any of that? How much is the traffic school? It all kind of depends, all right? All right? So make sure you read these options carefully. You'll check one, then you'll mail in the envelope, all right? Do I get my license back? Yep. No? As long as you sign right down here. By signing, you're not admitting any guilt, just promising to comply with the ticket, all right? Okay, go for it. Yeah, right down here by that X. Right here, but yep. Where's the date of this? The date of what? It, when it occurred? No, the date of the court or whatever. Oh, you'll get that information once you mail in the envelope if you would request a court date. Because if you don't want to request a court date, there's no court information. Just roughly, how much am I looking to pay? Uh, not sure. I think it says it on the back of the envelope. Maybe one forty, I think. But again, it all it all varies. All right, there's no set dollar amount, all right? Bullshit. You know. All right. The way people fucking drive yeah. around here, and then you're fucking right on my ass. You, I mean, you should have pulled me over right away. 
Had to get your license. I was pissed, uh, you know. Had to get your license plate. Well, you had to ride right up my ass. That's I had to get your license. I had to. Bullshit. I have to get close That's enough bullshit. to where I can read your license you guys plate. Do that all the time too. So and I can. I, and I have no problem if somebody's doing something. Like, yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. I, I guess I have no problem with how you'd handle it because, yeah, I committed the the, the misdemeanor, not aware that I did it. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. But I've been driving, and you know, are you Schomburg? Who are you? Hoffman Estates. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been driving, mm -hmm. and in my neighborhood, I'll be driving down Winston, coming home, bumper to bumper on a snowy day. This officer, I pulled over to let him go, and uh, he's still right on my, I, you know, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And the way people drive around here, that's bullshit, too. And you're worried, you know, I didn't cause any accident, and I didn't hit anybody. You can clearly see somebody hit that. I see it. All right. You want see an it? onion ring? No, thanks. I'm good. All right, you got two copies, all right? One's for your record, one you mail in, all right? Do you have any questions? When do I have to mail it in? Seven days. All right. Perfect. All the instructions are on that envelope, okay? okay. All right. Thank all right. you, man. Yep. Have a good night. All right. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah, looks to be all quiet here. Oh, possibly more kids playing Pokemon Go. Looking for anything in particular through here? Um, cars are just like kind of parked away from all the other cars. Like this one way back here. Oh, just like kind of far away. I know some empl sometimes employees will park far away, but check them out. And just make sure there's nobody sending them and doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Slumped over the wheel. Huh. Central 6139 suspicious auto. Will be the parking lot off of Palatine by the Jewel with uh, 28. Make sure she's okay. Hi there, I saw you slumped over. I thought you'd oh, no, no, up on the wheel or something. No, no, you no, okay? No, no. I am perfectly fine. I'm just waiting for my child. Okay. Well, <laughs> All right, I just want to make sure because, yeah, I drove by and saw you oh, thank you, slumped over. You're so kind. Okay, thank no problem. You. All right, do you have an idea on you, real quick? Just, uh, just to say I spoke to you. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. No, no, and All right. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. I, I do appreciate the check because you never know. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for my kid to get a Walgreens. Okay. Jewel. Sounds <laughs> good. Central 6139. Everything's 1040. Can you copy a file? over here because they don't want people to like, see mom. Yeah. You know how don't want to see mom. <laughs> yeah, like, anyway, officer, 39 you, copies. All right. Thank you. All right. You have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Well, here's a hunch down watching videos on her phone. So everything's fine. She's just picking up her son who works at the Jewel here. But... Never know, so it's always good to check on people and make sure everything's okay. Uh, dealer plate. Mm, so this Save is red. Hatchback right here. Save Let's go. I don't know, let me in. Central 6139 traffic stop. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, we stopped this guy for, uh, he's got a headlight out. He's going pretty fast. Hi there. How you doing? Good, how about you? Pretty good. Good. You look familiar. Uh, I, know you? Um, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I stopped you, you got a headlight out? Yeah, I honestly just noticed it tonight. It just got out of work. Okay. Costco. All so. right. Which Costco do you work at? Shamrock, right here. I live in Lake and Hills. Maybe that's why I look familiar. I go to that Costco. There you go. So, uh, do you got license and insurance? Yeah. Perfect. All set. Yeah. Yeah. I got the, the new one. It just expired last week. I got the new one at the house. I didn't even okay. see sitting right there. So. All right. Sounds good. You had July 7th. Not too long ago. All right. Are you the registered owner of the car? My parents are. My parents are. Okay. All right. 
Is your insurance card back? Yep. All right. Do you have anything illegal in the car? No, I do not. All right. Been drinking at all? Not at all. I just no. got off work. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I see the cops go ahead, but no, those questions got to ask. Yeah, all right, man. It. Just hang tight. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, he says he uh, just notices headlight went out tonight and uh, apologized for speeding. He said he knew he was speeding and just apologized for it. So, you know, as long as he's got a clear record, I'll probably just let him off with a verbal warning. Seems like a nice guy. One of the good things about this job is the discretion we have. Don't gotta give everybody a ticket. Don't gotta be writing everyone tickets. All right, Justin, I'm gonna cut your break, all right? No tickets Thank tonight. You. Thank you just make sure you get your headlight fixed. Absolutely. Watch speed, all right? Absolutely. I know how it goes when you get off work, you just wanna get home, but <laughs> just be careful, okay? All right, no problem, all right? Have a good night. You too. Thanks. So uh, one of our bars, first sports bar here, is having like an uh, outdoor you know, kind of beer fest concert. So we're just gonna do a walk through, make sure everything's going okay, and you know, just kind of make our presence known. So let's do a quick walk through. Just come by, check it out, make sure everything's going cool. Mind if we just walk around real quick? Uh, yeah, wherever you guys want to come in, cool. check everything out. How's everything been going? Last time was really busy. Tonight was. Uh, not as busy as last night. But really? Okay, the weather was a little. Yeah, it was kind of raining. Yeah. Night, so so we'll, cool. uh, we'll take it off. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so far, last night, great crowd tonight. Great crowd as far as the people, so we're happy. Good. Man. Tonight's country. Tomorrow will be rock and roll. Okay. Cool. Cool. Man. Cool. Wish I wasn't working this whole weekend. I know. Come by. <laughs> man. Yeah. Alright, good to see you guys. Thanks All right, for coming cool. out. Yeah. yeah. How you guys doing? Thank you for your service, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. How you guys doing? Having a good time? Hold on. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I haven't seen them do this before, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they do it like every year? Every year. Every really? Year. I don't remember it last year. It's kind of cool. Hi there, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. You just want to stop doing a little swerving back there. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing okay. All right, you sure? Yeah. Because you almost hit the curb. Yeah. I was trying to do this thing and it just wasn't working. No? Why yeah. are you trying to put your headphones in now? Well, I was trying to like work it and like, I don't know, it just wasn't working. All right. So Where are you heading? I'm heading to export to like uh, to work out. Okay. kind of ramped up on caffeine. Oh yeah? So, yeah. All right. You got driver's license and insurance? Yeah, it's in my backpack. All right, yeah, if you want to, okay yeah, you can grab it. Do you need to get out or? No, no, no. I yeah, just... you can grab it. Go for it. Where are you coming from? Uh, Streamwood. Streamwood? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, like, are you okay? Have you been drinking at all tonight? Like, any alcohol? Well, you want to check my breath or do a high test or something? No. Just asking. Sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, man, you almost you almost hit that curb. I know, I just I was messing with this. Yeah, this one's good. Alright, All right, cool. I right, just back. Just sit down right back, okay? Yeah. Alright, so then I'm gonna give you a warning, alright? Just make sure you're more careful, okay? Yeah, thanks, man. Alright. I'm help out these guys at this traffic stop here. They're looking for a uh, a portable breath test we call PBT. I uh, always tend to carry one with me, so told them I'd be on my way out here and uh, gonna see what they need, see if we can help out. So, what's up? One second. How you doing? Hang out, Justin. Yes, sir. Um, he's under arrest, obviously for DUI. Uh, revoked since it was Pikachu stopped. Uh, Sergeant wants Pikachu to do the fields, so I guess he's going to repeat the fields at the... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he probably can't do them now, he's already under arrest. So since you already got him cuffed... Well, just, uh, I just did some of the fields. 
Yeah. I did all the fields actually. Okay. Like I got bad legs. And, you know. yeah. Okay. He all right. So we're gonna take him back. Um, well, I'll see. You mind, you mind following yeah. him yeah. to yeah. the uh, PD? Yeah, I gotta go back there anyways. I think I'm dropping him off. And then so. uh, you wanna have him on the big one over there? Yeah, we'll see if he wants to do this one. Okay. Because uh, he's the real one uh, after the warning. Hold Honey, on. Relax with them, all right? Behave. Yeah, so she uh, kicked out the windshield here. <laughs> so, obviously there was some kind of dispute and she kicked out the window and the uh, driver is under arrest right now for uh, DUI. Uh, so right now, uh, one of our officers has a gentleman in custody for a uh, DUI. So we're going to uh, go back to the police department, help him out with uh, doing field tests. And uh, I'm a certified breath operator, so I can do the uh, breath app at the police department, which is uh, more accurate than the one on the street. And it's uh, certified, so it's, it's uh, better in court and everything. So... We like to use that one when we can. So yeah, so uh, basically to just kind of recap the day, you know, we uh, drove around did some traffic stops and you know just looked for traffic violations. We uh, went to the call for the child custody dispute. Luckily, we were able to uh, peacefully resolve that issue and uh, get the child uh, to go home with his father. Uh, found a uh, stray dog, which we turned over to the Gulf Rose Animal Hospital, and luckily had a chip, so we get reunited with his family. So did some foot patrol at a uh, you know, beer garden in town, make sure everything's okay, make sure everybody's, you know, behaving themselves and not getting out of control and, you know, just kind of making a good police presence. Got to talk to some of the people who were really nice and appreciative of what we do. So that's always cool to interact with the community and the people around us. Uh, finished the night off, I uh, reckless driving call. The guy was driving in the wrong, wrong direction, you know, down the wrong way of the road. Ended up being a DUI, you know, that's, you know, he's intoxicated and, you know, that's, the kind of stuff we like to stop and prevent before you hurt anybody. Luckily, we were able to uh, stop him before anybody got hurt. And uh, he's in custody now, and right now we're just uh, going to be working on the mountains of paperwork that uh, go along with the arrest. So it's going to be uh, time consuming. So, um, so if you'd like any more, any more information about the Hoffman Estates Police Department, feel free to visit our website, hoffmanestates.org, and then uh, just go to the police uh, link at the top. Um, or if you'd like to uh, join the Citizens Police Academy, we offer that every year. So you can uh, check out the website for that or you can call, call the front desk.